Okay, so after printing this piece of a jaw off a bust I'm working on, I found that I had some holes in the um, print, and quite large ones, which was a bit disappointing. So um, I just thought I'd go through how I went about uh, checking the mesh. So the first thing I tried was to turn on the polyframe mode, and then switching to double-sided, and you can sort of see that it doubles up with the lines, which means that the two sides are really close, the inside and the outside are really close to each other. Um, and that that's that's an okay way of you know discovering that there's a, going to be a problem, but it's a bit hard to um, fix because as you zoom in to work on it, it's a lot harder to tell where these areas are. Uh, you zoom out a bit more and it gets a bit more obvious, and then as you come in, it starts to be uh, a lot harder to tell where it is. Uh, so I did a bit of experimenting and I've come up with another way to uh, highlight the problem areas. So to do it you go to Subtool, down to Duplicate, so you make a copy of the mesh. Um, I fill it with a colour, usually red, uh, and then I do a flip of the normals and I'll turn off double sided. So I'll turn my colour back to white. So now what I have is an inverted copy of this mesh, so the inside, and um, oh, there, that makes the problem a bit more obvious. Uh, and, but if I take this uh, inverted copy with the outside turned on, I can see where the mesh is poking through now, but it's only in that little area there, and if you see the photo I've got a large hole uh, just here. So if I take my move transpose line, one tap on the surface, and then I take the uh, furthest point and right click and drag just a little, just to inflate it slightly, I can now see um, a representation in red, which is you know fantastic, uh, and it matches up really well with each of the holes that I had in my mesh. So this is the kind of check I'll be using before 3D printing anything uh, from now on, especially anything that's like thin or hollow, because um, it lets me quickly identify where the problems are and now I can grab my original mesh and grab, uh, let's see, I'll use, I might use clay build up with a low intensity and I'll turn on backface masking in brush auto masking and backface and now I should be able to ah and turn off spotlight samples because I have spotlight on I should be able to just come in and inflate smooth the areas out and I should do the same on the uh, the other side okay there but there and just to double check that it's fixed I'm gonna remove the original duplicate and try again duplicate just fill it in red and then I'll turn off double and I'll flip it and then transpose inflate okay I'm probably just tidy up those areas And that should print just fine. Okay, well I hope this helps someone else more than it helped me. And I'll catch you later.